Just months ago, I made a video where I discussed how Minecraft Classic stacks up in today's time. Now, just four months later, it's time to revisit that again. A few days ago, it was announced that Minecraft Classic would return back to web browsers. At hearing that news, I was excited and ready for nostalgia. Playing Minecraft Classic in my web browser again would be a blast from the past. The Minecraft Classic browser version we all may remember is version 0.30. For the new Classic browser version, we are presented with a much earlier version, version 0.0.23 alpha, almost identical with 0.0.2 with only minor changes such as a texture on the menu buttons and customizable controls, something that wasn't available yet in version 0.0.2. With version 0.0.23 alpha, you will probably notice quite a few things missing or different. To start, the almost ridiculous texture on gold blocks. A very distinct texture, but one I would rather not spend too much time looking at. After opening up the block selection screen, you may also notice quite a few things missing. Blocks like TNT, obsidian, iron blocks, bricks, stone slab, mossy cobblestone, bookshelves, ores like coal, iron ore, and gold ore all weren't yet available in the game. But out of all those things missing, there is one major difference, and that is the control scheme. With the Minecraft Classic version we are familiar with, the control scheme is similar to Minecraft today. Left click to destroy blocks and right click to place them. But back in this version of the game, things were different. The ability to place or destroy blocks was all done with left click and relied on a toggle to change what action you would be performing. When destroying a block, the block you are looking at will flash with a white highlight which you then left click to carry out that action. To place blocks, you need to toggle the function by right clicking. Now the block in the toolbar that is selected will ghost flash in the block area you're looking. Again, left click to complete that action. It takes some time to get used to, but it's not a big learning curve. Other than that, the rest of the controls remain the same. Another big difference we have is the ability to invite friends onto your local world. By simply pressing the escape key, you're presented with a link that you can copy and send to friends so they can connect and join your world. This is something I would have loved back when I stuck to the browser version 0.3, but it's cool that this is a feature on such an old version of the game. Overall, if you're looking to take a nostalgic trip with some friends, I highly recommend hopping on classic.minecraft.net and getting into the game. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and comment on things you would like to see in the future.